Welcome to 30 day forward fold challenge. For the details of the challenge, please check the description down below because I wrote the details down there. And let's begin. Find a comfortable seated position and close your eyes. Let go of anything and everything that doesn't belong here. That is not happening right here, right now. Instead, draw the focus of your attention on the things that are happening right here right now you can focus on my voice you can focus all the other sounds that you hear instead of per perceiving those sounds as distractions, you can use them to bring yourself right into this present moment. And now, Slowly draw your attention inward. Focus on the sound of your breath. The movements happening thanks to your breath within your body. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale exhale. One more time inhale. And exhale. Before opening your eyes, first of all, thank yourself for being here, for simply showing up. Showing up is itself a huge accomplishment. Be proud of yourself. And decide right here, right now to embrace whatever comes along the way. All the moments of success, all the moments of failure. And when you feel ready, you can blink, open your eyes. Let's get on our feet. Nice. The feet are at hip distance apart. Should I face here? Are here. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Feet are at hip distance apart. Nice. Lift your toes up and press the knuckles of your toes on the ground. Also, your heels are pressing. Nice. Now, send your toes on the mat as well and grip through your toes. Feel that activation is happening through your legs when you do that. Squeeze your butt, draw up the lower belly slightly, roll the shoulder tips backward, take a deep inhale. With exhalation, 
hug the ribs in. Nice. From here, slightly bend your legs. Inhale. With exhalation, fold to the halfway. Try not to curve your spine, but instead you are keeping the upper body tall here. Nice. Inhale here. With exhalation, go a little bit downward and then come back to the halfway. Inhale. Exhale. And then come back to the center. Okay, to the half, to the middle. <laughs> Let's keep on doing this. Last five. Last three. Last one. Get closer with your belly to the upper legs. Hold it here. Grip through your toes. Try to squeeze your butt nice. Extend your arms forward and just hold it here. You are going to feel your legs. I do too. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and fold. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift the chest to the halfway once again. Bring the hands in front of your chest. Nice. Try to press, draw the tailbone backward. The spine is long. This time, take a deep inhale. Try to extend, straighten your right leg. And then switch. And then switch. Nice. Do not force your body too much. Explore your limits, but at the same time, be gentle. This seems like an easy work from outside, but as you experience right now, it's not. So please be gentle towards yourself. Last 10. Nine. Eight. Last five. Last three. Last one. And fold forward once again. Inhale and exhale. With next inhale, one more time, find your middle with your upper body. Long spine, drawing the tailbone down. Nice. Inhale, extend the arms over your head. With exhalation, this time, but comes towards your heels. Tap and go back into your half bay. Exhale, butt taps to the heels. Inhale, find your half bay. Keep on doing this. Always gripping through the toes. Feet are active. Nice. Last five. Last three. Last one, almost done. 
and exhale but go this time towards your mat nice extend the legs on your mat <laughs> catch your breath this was a challenging work not only physically but it's also mentally hard right i know dynamic flexibility routines are always like that but they are super effective nice now find the tall upper body drawing up the lower belly slightly nice extend the arms over your head press the heels on your mat pull your toes inhale with exhalation without curving your spine fold from the hip bones and then lift the chest back up inhale lengthen Create space, exhale, fold into that space, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, last five. Last three. Last one. Fold and hold it here. I know it's challenging, but bear with me. Last five, four, three, two, one, and bring the palms on the mat. Take a deep inhale and exhale. <sighs> Great job. Now, point your toes. Your legs are super active. Since we are already close to our legs with our belly, that, that sentence was right? It was right. You understood me. I know, I know. Thank you. Okay, so our goal is to maintain this distance but of course we're just going to try our best and our best is always enough nice so first one if you can watch if you like okay inhale with exhalation using the fingertips always lengthening through the spine inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, <laughs> try your best. This is challenging. Exhale, nice. Last two. Last one. Try to hold it. Hold it. My legs are shaking as well. Let's five, four, three, two, one, and slowly ah, let go of your legs. You can tap gently on your quads. Ooh. Nice job. Now, bring your feet on the mat. You can use your hands to lift your butt up but you can also try not to use them. Whatever you do, you're doing amazing, okay? Just try your best. Inhale, with exhalation, let's, oops, <laughs> meet in the chair pose. Inhale here, rise up on the toes. Nice. Exhale. Now with inhalation, send the butt up, try to maintain your body on your toes, try to maintain the distance in between your legs and the belly. And again, try your best. And then turn back into your chair pose, heels down. This that you saw 
it's not my first try, right? I'm doing this kind of stuff. That's why now I can do this. But believe me, when I first try these kind of balancing things, these are not easy. So if you are not be able to, if you're not able to do these, like me right now, that's super normal, okay? Just try. <laughs> and holding the chair pose. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's try. Inhale. First rise up on the toes and then send the butt up. Nice, nice. And then turn back into your chair pose. Maybe heels on the mat, maybe not. Let's try again. Send the butt up, up. Trying to stay close with our belly to the legs. And then chair pose almost lost it two more Woo. nice try 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 your best and chair so we have two more or one more let's make two more these are challenging Sometimes feels like impossible, but to me, they're always fun. I hope you're having fun as well. Last one, and then turn back into your chair pose. Heels down and fold forward. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Ah. Great job. One last challenging thing to do and then I am going to let you go. Sad. It's not sad because we are going to meet here soon, right? Nice. Okay. So you can bend your leg as much as you need to bring your palms on the mat. Okay. And then press your finger knuckles on your mat, grip through your fingertips, curve your spine. You should act actively push the ground away and then rise up on the toes. So you can simply hold this or you can try to tap your toes to your wrists, wrist and then change. I mean switch. Toe taps, or maybe a simple hold. At first, you might not be able to do toe taps. I remember my first time, my feet were like glued on the mat. I couldn't even understand how could I lift my feet up and tap my wrist. But as you can see right now, it is happening. Practice, practice and time. Last two, last one, and hmm. once again, get into your forward fold. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Slowly from here, bring your knees on your mat and sit on your heels. Ah. Whatever you did, you did. You put yourself into this discomfort willingly and you tried your best, be proud of yourself. These are not easy things to do. And before ending this practice, take a few seconds right now to tell all the things you need to hear today. Anything that your mind, your body, your soul, wants to hear.
tell all those things to yourself right now. And when you feel ready, you can blink open your eyes. Thank you for joining me on this practice. I hope you enjoy this. And thank you again for choosing me and for practicing with me among all the channels that exist <laughs> in this um, virtual world. It means a lot to me, you being here. If you want to turn this practice into a challenge, 30 day challenge, you should check the description down below because I wrote all the details down. If you are looking for a more committed practice, you can visit my platform. I provide practice schedules for my lovely members to help them stay consistent throughout their yoga asana journey. I also give them tips and methods off the mat that they can use to stick to their practice. Once again, thank you for joining me on the mat. See you on the next time. I wish you a beautiful rest of your day.